Now, I don't like guessing, so I sent a cup of Fox Farms Ocean Forest Potting Soil to University of Delaware to get an official lab test. I also did an at-home slurry test. That came back at 6.26 pH and 400 ppm. Now, I was also going to post my results on rapid tests, but you know how that went. <clears throat> Trash this motherfucking product. Now, let's take a look at the lab results. The first thing you'll notice is that the pH came back at 5.9, which is lower than the 6.26 I tested at home. So there is a discrepancy, but 0.36 isn't that much. Next, we'll look at the NPK, which is a ratio of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. On the bag of ocean forest, you'll see this ratio listed as 3-4.5-0.5, but that's a lot different from the 0 0.6, 5.1, and 101.9 seen on the lab results. It's almost like there's no nitrogen in it, which is definitely wrong because a lot of it is only activated when mycorrhizae breaks it down. This will only happen when you moisturize the soil. Regardless, at the current state of the soil, nitrogen is low. The bag also said calcium is at 1%, but the soil came back at 91.9, .9, which according to soil standards is acceptable. The rest of the nutrients are either secondary or trace elements, which means the plant barely needs any of it. However, the two nutrients that stood out on this report is magnesium, which is optimum, and sulfur, which is high. Now, what I would do to fix the soil based on the lab results is pinned on the top comment of this video. Both a synthetic and organic solution is provided, so check that out. Now, it's worth noting, I stopped using Ocean Forest a couple of years ago because every single bag was heavily infested with fungus gnats. So, I always treat my soil with some sort of pest management solution. If you value this content, smash that like, hit that bell, and for the best tutorials on how to grow, check out my site, hwgrow.com.